Hey everybody, this is Mitch from BoardCo, and today I is my opportunity to walk you through the 2022 model Centurion RI230. The RI230 is a brand new model for 2022, and it packs more ballast and more performance than any other 23-foot boat to ever come before. Let me walk you through the reason why this boat is the best performing and the most feature-packed 23-foot boat on the market. Sounds true. On the RI230, there's some really unique characteristics and some performance features in regards to the hull and the exterior of the boat that I'm gonna walk you through. First, in talking about the exterior of the boat, there's these unique index and chiseled body lines that sit here on the outside. These are beautiful regardless of what gel coat scheme that you select on the RI230. It can be paired with any number of different gel coat options and colors, but either way, it provides sleek, beautiful lines that are both timeless as well as aggressive. This platform is built on the foundation of the Opta V 2.0 hull. This hull design is exclusive to the Centurion RI series for 2022. It is a new hull design platform that takes everything good about the Centurion Opta V hull, the most revolutionary boat hull to come out in quite some time, and elevates it to the next level, allowing it to perform even better for surf performance than the previous Opta V hull designs that came before. I'm gonna walk you through the differences of that when we move to the transom here in just a minute. Let's look up to the bow design and see how the RI hull and the Opta V 2.0 hull platform aids you with wake surfing at the bow. As we come up here to the front of the boat, there's a few unique characteristics we wanted to talk about that add to the styling features on the boat, but also aid in the performance characteristics as well, particularly in regards to surfing. Now, First off here at the front, we have unique Baja Racing headlights that are here on the front that are dual lights on each side that are also angled and specifically set up to pan and flare out the lighting to give you a little more ambient light as well as directional light that looks really good. These are all standard on the Centurion RI series boats and are just a really cool feature. They're aided with these um, headlamp covers that are also um, items that you can step on as you're moving in and out of the boat. That's one of the unique characteristics on the RI series is virtually the entire perimeter of the boat going all the way around has a place where you can step and move into the inside of the boat without having to step onto slick gel coat. It's all wine and gator step. It's a really cool feature. Also here on the front, you have a backlit Centurion um, grill here on the front that looks really nice, especially when it's dark. It gives you just a nice little ambient pop. Now, in talking about the whole design itself, the Centurion RI series is a modified traditional bow, meaning that it comes to a singular point instead of two points like a pickle fork bow, but it has a lot of additional room like you get with a pickle fork bow design. Now, one thing that is unique about this boat and all of the Opta V hull designs that the Centurion boats are built on is the way that the bow is designed to deal with rough water and to deal with surf waves. The entire premise of the Centurion boat lineup, not just the RI series, but every boat in the Centurion lineup, is they're built with a surf-focused design, meaning that everything from the bow of the boat all the way to the stern is designed with wake surfing being the primary thing in mind that you're gonna be using your boat for. It's designed to be a great wakeboard boat, a great boat for skiing or pulling tubes or hanging out or doing whatever you want, but when they're designing the boat and engineering specific aspects of it, the surf performance is paramount. Now let's talk about why the bow matters in that. The bow itself is never in the water while you're surfing, at least directly. From this point forward, the bow never touches the water while you're surfing. So why does it matter for surf waves? Well, most wakeboard boats have a tendency and have a reputation of having, of being, having it be easy for waves to come over the front of your boat. It's, they're real easy to take water over the front. Even the really tall, deep, deep ones from some other boat manufacturers will take water over the front if you're turning back into a surf wave or if you stop in front of another wake really quickly um, or anything of that nature. And the reason why is because of the way that the boat holes are designed. They're designed with sheer walls that come up off the sides instead of sidelines that taper downwards. If you look at a Centurion RI hull and any other boat in the Centurion lineup, you notice that the, it goes from a center point down at the bottom of the hull, and as it moves up towards the sides, the surface area continually increases as it goes up and reaches the rub rail. What that does is it means so that when you turn around and go to pick up a surfer and you head back into a surf wave, as your bow heads into that wave 
and the water line creeps up the hull of the boat, the bow will, will progressively lift up further out because the surface area and the buoyancy increases as the water line goes up. That means that you, it makes it much more difficult for you to take water over the front of your boat. Can you do it? Like if you wanted to stretch somebody when they're sleeping up in the bow and have a little surprise for them? You can, but it only really happens if you really want it to. It's not something that's gonna take you, take you as a driver by surprise. So this is just one feature that, breaks, that um, is unique on a Centurion that allows for it to perform better, drive better, and have you have a better experience while you are driving and handling the boat when compared to others. Let's go back to the back of the boat and I'll show you all the unique features that Centurion does to increase the surf performance and the drivability of the boat at the transom. Now as we move here to the back of the boat, there's a lot of stuff to talk about here on the back end. The first thing I wanted to highlight is talking about the hull design and particularly a measurement be, um, called dead rise. Now what dead rise is, is it's a measurement between the center line of the boat at the back to the side, the chine over here at the back of the boat. Now you can me measure dead rise at the front, but when we're talking about things such as surf performance and rough water ride on the boat, the dead rise at the very back of the boat is really the only thing that matters. And the Centurion features dramatically more dead rise than any other towboat out there. Most towboats have between two and six degrees of dead rise at the transom of the boat, pretty much almost flat. And what that means is when you're driving through rough water conditions, it's gonna skip and bounce and slap against the water as opposed to slicing right through it. A Centurion, on the other hand, features 20 degrees of dead rise in the OptiV hull design, meaning that this is going to slice through rough water conditions like a hot knife through butter. This is gonna give you the world-renowned rough water ride performance that Centurions are known for. Now, in talking about the hull design specifically, as I mentioned, the RI features the OptiV 2.0 hull design. What that means is that they have modified the OptiV hull that was already the best surf hull ever built to make it so that we utilize less of the plate systems here at the back of the boat. The entire hull sits deeper down in the water and makes it so that it displaces more water overall than it previously did with the original OptiV hull. This is exclusive to the RI series and really takes the surf performance up a notch. Next thing to talk about when it comes to dead rise and the V here at the back of the boat is what it does for the surf performance of the boat. By having a V at the back of the boat, the boat will naturally split the water more to one side or to the other, which while you're wake surfing is really the only thing that you're trying to do. Instead of having devices that flange out the sides of the boat or really try and stop or slow down one side to crab the boat through the water and, and shift it so it drives it at an angle, instead, the quick surf plates that exist here on the side of the RI-230 just me merely shift the flow of water from one side to the other. They're a lot simpler than most other plates, and that's because the hull itself is doing most of the heavy lifting with creating a surf wave. These plates just control the direction of the flow of water. But going beyond that, because of the way that the hull is designed on the RI-230, these quick surf plates can not only just activate and shift a surf wave from left to right, or right to left, they also give you the ability to customize the shape of the wave. The combination of the quick surf plates on the side and your center silent stinger plate that I'll talk more about in just a second, allows you to control the attitude of the boat across virtually any direction, allowing you to shift and control the flow of the boat across all axis planes. This allows you to create the exact wave shape and size that you want to have, and shape and size being two independent variables. On most other surf boats, wave shape and wave size are directly connected. You either get a small mellow wave or a large steep wave. But the idea of creating a larger steep, or sorry, a larger mellow wave is not really a thing. At the same token, creating a smaller steep wave for small riders that want to get more aggressive isn't really an option either. On a Centurion, you can customize the shape and the size of the wave to anything you like. You can have a large wave that can support a 300 pound rider that has a smooth tabletop on the top that you can spin a 360 on. It's a shape that is completely unique to a Centurion, just one example of the many unique wave shapes that you can only get behind a Centurion boat. Now, moving on to the silent stinger plate that you see right here, this controls the running out to the boat, to the boat from the bow, lifting the bow further up out of the water or pushing it further down. 
what this is going to do is control the shape of the wave, but also because of the way that the silent singer plate is designed, it's going to quiet down the boat. The silent singer plate is a patented design from Centurion that ports the exhaust out of the back of the boat and then diffuses it down through this plate at the rear. This diffusion quiets the boat down and gets exhaust away from the boat. It also dissipates it down into the water and keeps it away from the riders. It dissipates things such as exhaust fumes, but also steam. So if you're out on a cold morning, you're not going to get a cloud of steam that's going to mess with your wake surfer. Instead, it's going to be dissipated down in through the water. A really nice feature that you can only get on a Centurion or Supreme boat. New for 2022 is the Centurion Shift Thruster System that is optional on the Centurion RI series. That is this device that sits right here at the back of the boat that provides an electric thruster that allows you to shift and move the boat from side to side. This is a great feature for handling at low speeds and allows a boat that is the size of the RI-230 to handle like a, a typical 21-foot surf boat would, despite the fact that it's one of the largest 23-foot boats on the market. As we move into the interior of the RI-230, there's a lot of great features, particularly here at the back of the boat that I wanted to point out that are really unique. The first one is there's a super large transom locker that sits right in here that you can store tons of stuff. This is personally my favorite place to store life jackets, ropes, any wet items that go into the boat. And the reason why is because I can come out, come out of the water, take off my wet life jacket, drop it in here, and not bring a wet vest in the inside of the boat. It's just a really great spot for it. Um, as well as you can store a lot of other things like skis or uh, tubes or other things like that in that locker as well. As you move up onto the back sun pad, it either lays flat down like this or you have these reclining seats that ratchet up like this. These are really neat because they're super comfortable to sit on and hang out. You can also lay them flat and make it so it's just a nice sun pad if you want to lay out that, that way. And it's just a really comfortable seat to hang out here on the back of the boat. Um, and be able to access and do what you want. One thing that's great about these seats is rather than being recessed down in like some other seats are, they're built into the top portion of the boat so you don't sacrifice any of your storage space. You still have tons of storage in the RI-230 in the back transom lockers. As you lift these up, you see we have additional plug and play bags here in these rear lockers, but even when these plug and play bags are full, the boat still has a foot plus of storage space that goes all the way from the sides and communicates up on top of the engine compartment. There's so much space, in fact, that between the transom locker and the two side lockers, in my boat, I can put 14 life jackets, ropes, wetsuits, all kinds of gear, and even a tube just in this back locker area without putting anything under the side seats in the boat or in the main storage locker. There's tons of storage in those locations as well, but having all that storage here on the back transom where nobody has to get up and move to access the storage compartments is really, really nice. Now this packs all of that storage while below all of the storage space sits the largest ballast capacity of any tow boat that is 23 feet or under on the market. This boat packs 5,250 pounds of factory included ballast and it does it with a combination of the ram fill ballast system and the plug and play ballast that sits on top of that that really elevates the ballast to something that is far beyond what you can get in any other tow boat. As we move down into the cockpit of the boat, there's a couple of unique features I want to point out. First off, there's a clear walkway going from the back of the boat coming down in through the center seat here at the rear, meaning that you can access and climb into the boat from any direction without stepping on your vinyl. You can go from the back of the boat, clear up through to the front, and just step right here on the step pad that sits in the middle of the center seat. Now, one thing that's interesting to point out when we're talking about the walkway on the Centurion RI series is, as you notice, there's not a deep recessed walkway like you see on some other tow boats. Now, there's two reasons for this. The first reason is, is that it makes it so that you can't have any water enter from the rear of the boat. Because of the size of the surf wave that the RI-230 can create, if we did a recessed walkway that went down there, water could come shooting up and come into the center of the boat, like what happens on some other tow boats. Next thing, reason why, is because of a similar related issue, and that is the capacity rating of the boat. The Centurion RI-230's capacity rating, in other words, the number of people that could be fit in the boat, would go down if we did a recessed walkway. And the reason for that is because of the sheer amount of ballast that the RI-230 packs from the factory. With 5,250 pounds of ballast, it makes it so that if we did a recessed walkway that dropped down in, the boat would not be able to pack nearly as many people as it is rated for. 
Next, in going through the walkway coming from the back, you step down here into the center seat, which is actually a sliding seat system that can move back further up into the cockpit of the boat. You have these fa rear facing lean backs that can sit here and make it so people can look back and check out all the action. The sliding seat has multiple different notch placements that it can sit in, so you can slide it a little bit further back or further up under the shade of the bimini top so that people can be back here in the shade and hang out with everyone else. You also have additional rear facing seating options, such as flipping up the rear facing lean backs here on the side that lock in and make it so you can have as many as eight people facing back towards the action of the boat with comfortable seats to sit in. Now, one thing I wanted to discuss when in regards to the sliding seat is that Centurion does this seating system a little differently than other towboats. Some other towboats have a system that flips around and has a solid rear facing lean back. It looks really nice, but the functionality can be a bit challenging. Imagine if I had a solid lean back right here and I had to try and step around and get around. I'd either have to make people move or I'd have to kind of do the hokey pokey and shimmy around and get in people's business to get to the back of the boat. The nice part about having the split lean back system that Centurion does is it allows the driver to go from the driver's seat or anybody in the bow to go from the front to the back of the boat without having to do the hokey pokey and get around people. You can simply step right through the center of the two seats, step right there on the center on the uh, on the step pad on the walkway, or even step over it completely and get right to the back of the boat. As somebody who is typically either behind the boat or in the driver's seat, I use that feature all the time while people are still sitting in those seats. They just may have to slide a bit to the side, but I can step right through them and not end up being in a weird situation. It's really awesome. As we sit here in the interior of the cockpit of the RI-230, it's important to note the quality and the fit and finish work and the craftsmanship that goes into these boats. Now, the first thing I wanted to talk about here is the vinyl. It's the foundation of everything in the interior of the boat and really what makes or breaks the interior of a boat. And for Centurion, they use the highest quality, most robust vinyl that is available. And by far, the thickest and most luxurious vinyl of any towboat in the industry. This vinyl is called Comfort Strong. It's done by a company called Spradling, and it is a 17 mil top coat vinyl. That is the thickest, most plush vinyl available in the industry. In addition to that, the foam backing is a triple density foam, meaning that when you sit down into it, it's soft right on the top, but as you sit down lower, it gives you extra support. This does two things. First off is you get a comfortable seat to, that you can sit in in any temperature. Sometimes boat, different boat uh, vinyls feel nice and comfortable at room temperature in a dealership or at a boat show. But when you go and sit, out, sit in them when it's 90 degrees like it is out here today, it, they bottom out and they feel way too soft and they don't hold up. You end up getting wrinkles and creases in the vinyl because it stretches it out. In a Centurion, that's not the case. The 17 mil top coat vinyl and the foam that's backing it is going to stay looking just this nice for years and years to come because of how robust the construction is. In addition to that, Centurion offers two different vinyl texture options in the boat. First off, we have the Comfort Strong flat vinyl that you see here in this boat that is accented by the Centurion hex texturing. This is available in all of the, all of the accent portions of the boat, or you can do this hex texturing on the entire vinyl interior if you choose to. This allows you to customize the look of the interior and have something that look, gives it more of a traditional or leather type of look, or something that's got a more modern hex, uh, hex texturing to the interior of the boat. It really gives you the ability to choose. As you can see, the interior colorings of this boat are kind of unique with, the, uh, with uh, the olive green and mocha and tan colors. You can customize the interior of your Centurion RI to be anything that you want, any color combination, combination of textures and different designs on everything from the seats to the flooring. All of the Centurion RI series boats are coming with Gator Step flooring standard. Then the Gator Step flooring is the highest quality flooring material available on the market. And Centurion brings it to you as one of the very few companies that even offers this level of flooring. In addition to that, just offering Gator Step, Centurion does up to three different layers of Gator Step that are available in the boats. This particular RI-230 features the Warrior Gator Step pattern, which is a three layer Gator Step and each layer can be customized to whatever color that you want. This particular one is a combination of driftwood, sandstone, and black, 
but you can com you can combine any number of Gator Step colors to customize the boat exactly the way you want and go for the perfect look that you want to have. It's just the best way to finish off the look of the boat and take it to the next level. Speaking of taking it to the le next level, the interior finishing and trim work on the RI is just superb. From the custom machined aluminum grab handles to the backlit Centurion emblems and logos and stainless steel cup holders through the interior of the boat, all of the finish work on the Centurion RI series is top notch. All of the seats have nice curvature and are super comfortable to sit in. And all of the, all of the upholstery is finished off with Gore-Tex threading that makes it more durable than other vinyls that are out there in the market. The Centurion RI is not only finished off nicely with great components and materials, the craftsmanship is absolutely top notch as well. Here in the cockpit of the RI-230, I wanted to talk about the storage compartments in the boat and the ease of use of the storage compartments, both of those items, because they're both unique in the Centurion RIs. First off, in talking about storage, there's lots of storage locations throughout the boat. I talked about the ones in the transom earlier just a bit ago, but we also have great storage locations underneath all of the side seats of the boat where you can store towels, gear bags, life vests, whatever you want to have in there. In addition to that, you have a massive storage locker that sits underneath the observer seat of the boat right here. This observer seat is not just uh, uh, doesn't just hold a large storage compartment, it's really great to access to. The seat back just flips up like this, and they do this instead of having the entire seat come up so that if you want to just slide forward and reach down and grab something like I did, you can. We also we have an optional table setup that sits right here in the RI-230 that slides into the shelf right here. That this table can be mounted in any spot here in the interior of the boat with the sliding seat receptacles. And you have a massive storage locker that sits down underneath here. This is plenty of space to fit tubes, boards, skis, anything that you want to have. And going beyond that, you can also, if you need to have better access, lift up this observer seat right here and get plenty of access to the massive storage compartment that sits down in there. Going beyond that, if you need to have access from other locations, you can actually come up here to the bow and access it from the front side as well. So you have tons of storage access to the main storage locker, access to the other seats, which you just have to have somebody get up and move, so we don't typically use those as much in the Centurion. And you have storage underneath all the seats in the bow as well. So tons of storage all throughout the boat so that you can pack all of the people in it and all of their gear to go along with you. Lastly, beyond just having tons of storage space, there's also really functional space as well. We have coolers that drop in underneath the side seats as well as an additional cooler that sits here under the floor next to the driver's seat. This, is, this setup is really nice because you can just be in the driver's seat, reach down and lift up and grab a drink really quickly without having to make people get up and move out of the way to access an under the seat cooler or to have to reach down and get a separate cooler out of the floor in order to access to get a drink. It's just really functional and easy to use and something that people really enjoy while they're out on the water and actually using the boat. As we move over here into the driver's helm, there's a lot of great things to talk about as well as some new features for 2022 on the RI-230. The first one is the Cobra Racing driver's seat that I'm sitting in. This is, in my opinion, the most comfortable driver's seat on the market of any tow boat. The reason why is particularly because of the way I'm sitting right now talking to you. I'm sitting here in the Cobra Racing driver's seat and it's got this built-in leg notch that sits right here on the side so I can turn and face towards the rest of the crew while keeping the seat facing forward and have it be really comfortable. It also is ergonomically designed so I have a backrest I can sit against and lean back while sitting in this position. It's really comfortable and really nice. I can also turn and face towards the front and the seat kind of hugs and holds me in and makes it feel like I'm driving a sports car and it's just a really comfortable way to sit and face forward. I can turn and swivel the, the seat and face towards the inside if I want to, but having the additional leg notch that slides over to the side is really nice. This is actually, in my opinion, the most comfortable way to sit in the chair, which is kind of a nice thing since it's the way I like to sit anyway. Moving here into the driver's or into the dash system on the boat, there's a wireless charging cell phone holder that clamps your cell phone right here. It even holds in my phone that's got a super thick OtterBox case, just like that. You also have paddle shifters that sit on the sides of the steering wheel. They allow you to control the two aspects while you're driving the boat that you're going to use most often while surfing. As I mentioned before, Centurion has a surf focused design in the RI series, and so they want to make it so you can quickly control your surf settings 
at any point in time. You have controls of the center silent stinger plate here on the left side, and you have controls for your speed here on the right side. So you can do something such as look back at a rider and notice, hey, looks like the wave is a little too steep for him. You can just tap this a couple times a little bit and mellow it right out for him and without even touching or looking at the dash. It allows you to make quick adjustments on the fly while you're going. Next, we have the RI series dash design. Now we have a whole separate video that goes through this in specific detail where we break through break down everything in the RI series dash, but there's a couple of things I just wanted to mention. The first one is, is that the dash is designed to be the most intuitive dash design out there. A lot of other boats, you have to jump in the driver's helm and it takes you 15 minutes to figure out just even how to turn on a light or how to fill a ballast tank. In contrast, the Centurion RI series is very simple. It has a navigation here on the right side where you can cycle between all of the different menus. All of the rest of your information communicates over here over the screen on the left. That's a patented design by Centurion for the two communicating screens. The next thing that you have is every single functionality in this boat is designed so that you should only have to push two two button presses in order to access virtually any feature. Whether we're talking about turning on a light, such as this, or whether we're talking about changing a surf setting and engaging quick launch or quick surf, you could just have to press two buttons to the menu that you want to go to and the specific function that you want to do. It makes it so that somebody who's not really familiar with these boats and doesn't know a whole lot can still hop in the driver's seat and figure out what's going on and where they're wanting to go and what they can do. The next thing to talk about in the dash screen is specifically this third screen here to my right. This is a brand new feature for 2022 on the RI series and is an optional feature called the Centurion Range of View Camera System. This combines a couple different features to do something that is truly unique for any surf boat. The first thing is that it has both forward and rear facing cameras that allow you to see what's going on behind you and what's going on in front of you. When you kick the boat into reverse, it will automatically engage the rear view camera for you so you can see what's behind you. For the front view camera, it's really nice for particularly pulling up onto the trailer so you can make sure you're centered right on the roller every time when you put the boat on. The other thing this system does is it incorporates live fuel consumption and trip information right below the camera display on this range of view camera screen. This trip information is extremely helpful and useful while you're out driving the boat and is completely exclusive to the Centurion RI series boats. This gives you a live feed of how much fuel your boat is burning while you are using it. It allows us to show how fuel efficient the Centurion RI series boats are. We claim they're 50% more fuel efficient than any other boat on the market and this is just the way of proving that. But in addition to that, it provides some really useful function for you while you're out on the lake. As an example, Earlier this year, I was out on a Centurion RI series boat cruising down the lake and I was going 29 and a half miles an hour and it had a fuel burn rate of 17 gallons an hour. That's pretty typical for going that speed and about what I expected. When I slowed down from 29 and a half to 27 and a half, a reduction of just two miles an hour, my fuel burn rate went from over 17 gallons an hour to under 13 gallons an hour. What that means is that I had a less than 10% reduction in speed and it equated to an over 30% reduction in fuel consumption. This can be extremely useful while you're cruising around to find the sweet spot where you're going as fast as you want to go, but while conserving as much fuel as you possibly can. Cruising around down at Lake Powell has never been better than having this live fuel display for you in front of your face all of the time. As we move up into the bow of the RI-230, you can see that the bow in this boat is really big and spacious. For being a 23-foot boat, the bow is really big, especially considering the size of the cockpit in the RI-230. See, there's plenty of room for a couple different people to sit and face back and check out the action back at the back. There's even more room to turn around and face towards the front. And as you see, when I have my legs out completely straight, I still have over a foot in front of my feet before I meet the seat back. So you can, let, you can stretch out and have tons of space here in the bow. Going beyond that, there's a couple other really nice features such as uh, USB charging ports here in the bow that are also back in the cockpit so you can charge your devices if you want to. There's also gator step lining around the entire perimeter of the bow as well as a step that sits down right here. What that does is it makes it so you can climb in and out of the boat without ever touching your vinyl anywhere. This center bow cushion is also removable so if you want to, if you want to take this out and have it so that you can have people sit with their feet down using a footwell, you can do this as well. 
By having that bow cushion out, you can move from any point into the interior of the boat without ever stepping on your vinyl, both from the front of the boat and the back of the boat. This is just really nice because no matter where you step, you have a nice solid place to put your foot that isn't too narrow and that isn't going to be slick gel coat. So it's just really nice for boarding the boat no matter where you're at. The Centurion RI230 comes standard with the Centurion Drop Zone Power Folding Tower. This tower can unlock just on each side and then fold down with just the press of a button as it powers down to the inside of the boat. It's covered by the Solong FCT Double Extra Large Bimini. As you can see here, the Bimini covers from basically the back seat all the way to the windshield of the boat about midway through the windshield, giving you proper coverage for the driver, for your whole crew and passengers on the inside. And it's rock solid and sturdy and can drive down the lake as fast as the boat will go without flexing or moving or having any issues at all. Going beyond that, it's got built-in surfboard pockets up in the bimini with heat reflective sleeves that will make it so that your surfboard shouldn't cook in the sun and end up warping or deforming. You can also opt for a so long shade sail extension that will extend the shade all the way to the back of the boat. Going beyond that, the so long shade sail extension is the only extendable bimini that you can drive and surf with and even drive down the lake going full speed with it deployed. New for 2022 on the drop zone power folding tower are the Bombshell 2.0 board racks. The Bombshell board racks were revolutionary in the water sports industry because they were the first board racks that you could put high-end surf style EPS surfboards in without worrying about them getting damaged. The Bombshell 2.0 racks take that to the next level. They're refined with a few new finishing items that are even better. First off, you have life jacket holders here on the bottom so you can hang life jackets and swing them to the outside of the boat to drain off. You also have these nice hand holds that you can pull and twist the, these pistons in order to lock in. To lock a board in, all you do is just have it have it sitting like this, twist to move out of the way, slide your board into place, and then twist and lock it in and, it, and this piston grabs and holds it. On the new bombshell racks, you have this new honeycomb design that's going to hold up even better than the previous versions and going to give you extra protection for your surfboards. It also is, it has the ability to give and squish to fit wider surfboards into the racks or thicker surfboards into the racks, as well as thinner ones. These even work for wakeboards or knee boards or any other kind of boards that you want to use in the rack. They even work decently for running, foil, uh, for running wake foils and foil boards as well. The stereo is a really important component for a lot of people in a boat, and the Centurion RI series comes with a bunch of different stereo options. We have options ranging everything from a single set of Wet Sounds Tower speakers to multiple sets of Wet Sound Tower speakers, to the Centurion Roswell cover fire system, which is seen on this boat right here, that provides a full surround sound experience, all the way up to the exclusive Centurion Warrior audio system by Wet Sounds that provides the highest end factory audio system available on any boat on the planet. You can customize your audio experience however you like on these boats and because of the ability to do things such as control zone control, have auto volume that will adjust your volume up or down based on your throttle position in the boat, and other different features such as that, your experience with your audio system is going to be just as good as your surf experience behind the RI230. All new for 2022 is the new Ramfill 2.0 ballast system. This ballast system is available on all Centurions for the 2022 model year and is a notable upgrade from the already revolutionary Ramfill ballast system. Ramfill was introduced as the fastest filling, fastest draining, most versatile ballast system ever developed and it continues to be that to this day. The revolutionary Ramfill system has been upgraded for 2022 to the Ramfill 2.0 system. The differences on the system are not necessarily visible on the outside. Things such as the ballast vent here on the side stays the exact same. However, the internal workings and in the guts of the Ramfill system have been re renovated to make it so that it can be improved in every aspect. The traditional valve system we're using has been replaced with a new ball valve system that allows the ballast system to fill just as fast while being even more reliable and not subject to any influence from the elements. Going beyond that, the serviceability of the ram fill system has been dramatically improved. The motor system, if you ever did need to replace it, is a super easy quick change that would make it so that you can get back on the water faster than ever. It's a way of improving the already best ballast system ever developed and taking it to the next level with Ramfill 2.0. 
The last thing I wanted to talk to you about on the RI-230 is a new system that comes standard on the Centurion RI series boats that is really taking service and support to the next level. New for 2022, all of the Centurion RI series boats are going to become are going to come equipped with a system called Recon. Recon is a telematic system that allows the boat to communicate with places outside of the boat. Now let me tell you about it and why it matters and why you should care. What it can do is it allows the boat to be able to communicate with outside sources remotely even when the boat is off. What that means is that you can have the boat communicate things such as fuel level, such as its positioning, GPS position, and other things that can communicate directly to you through like your phone or another device or can communicate with us as a dealership. What this allows us to do is to be able to see some different things that are going on with your boat remotely. This is a hardware component that's going to allow us to soon be able to deliver things such as remote in access and even things such as diagnostics and code information for the engine. Meaning if you get a check engine light that comes on on your boat and have a code that's thrown, we can remote in and see exactly what's going on with your boat, hopefully diagnose it there remotely, and potentially even help and solve your issue remotely. This can be a game changer when it comes to being able to take care of you and support you from afar. Things such as software updates remotely so that we can make sure your boat is always running with current generation software to make sure that it's running them as efficiently as possible to things such as diagnostics remotely are the future of what's going to be available with this new recon system. It's going to be an absolute game changer for both you and for us as a dealer in our mission to try and support you better. It's exclusive on the RI series as a standard feature and is going to be something that is really awesome to have. Thanks for spending some time with me checking out the new 2022 RI-230. If you have any questions about this boat, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at BoardCo. We are happy to help answer your question and provide any information that we can. For more information on this boat, check out BoardCoBoats.com, as well as check out our YouTube channel for additional information about the RI-230, the other boats in the Centurion lineup, and the other features that are available on this boat that we talked about. There's a number of other videos that we have that go into further depth on the features and the benefits on the RI-230 that we didn't have time to discuss in this video that you can start research in more depth if you want to. Check out Board Coat Boats for more information. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you later. Thank you.